Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we will show you how to train the transmission fluid on Mazda CX-7. We have a 2.3 engine here, turbo, but other ones might be the same. The 2.5 and the 2.2 diesel, I don't know if they have the automatic in Europe and Asia. In the United States, the most popular one is a 2.3 with a 6-speed automatic transmission. So we will show you guys how to train it and uh, what, what you need to expect. Okay, so uh, you will need to jack the car up a little bit on one side. Uh, if you don't, it will be even better if you just have it level. But if you can crawl underneath it, that will be great, okay? And next we will need an Allen wrench. Okay, this is the Allen wrench that we need. And this one specifically is 10 millimeter right here. Do not use small because you're going to mess up your drain plug. Next. Uh, <coughs> Okay, uh, if you want to drain it really good guys, what you need to do, you need to drive the car for about 30 minutes before you drain the transmission fluid. That way it will be, it will be a little bit more liquid uh, because if it's too cold fluid, it's not going to come out too easy. But be careful not to burn yourself on the fluid, on exhaust or anything like that. So when you go under the car, okay, let me just come there, okay. And you can see this is the transmission guys. That's the drain plug right there. Okay, pretty, pretty convenient place. Once it comes loose, you can just go ahead and remove it by hand. And it's going to leak pretty good. So you need to have a container to catch at least, I think about six, seven quarts. Ours is 10, not to risk it. Okay, and that's what the fluid looks like at 76,000 miles. So we're going to drain it and we're going to inspect it in a little bit and see if we have any debris, if, if uh, the fluid looks pretty burned. So stay with us and we'll come back to it in a little bit. Oh you guys, so it's been probably about 20 minutes and we're going to go ahead and install the drain plug now and see how much oil we got out of it. Okay, right there now, just uh, make sure you get it get it uh, where it's supposed to be and get it tight okay don't forget to get a new washer seal okay that's what it looks like uh, when you install the drain plug because uh, it's it's a common thing to develop a leak if you if you drain the uh, the fluid a couple of times and you get it loose and then tight because that washer will get smashed okay Almost there now. So all we have to do is get it tight. Okay, that's plenty. So let's check what the fluid looks like now. Okay guys, so that's the transmission fluid. We put a little bit in the container. You can see 76,000 miles. It still has that reddish color, but it's turning pretty, pretty dark. So we wanna put a tissue inside, okay? And we, are, we want to see what color it's going to be. Okay, and what it looks like. You can see it's still reddish. It's not terribly bad, but definitely needs, needs to be flushed. So that's how you, that's how you guys uh, drain the transmission fluid on Mazda CX-7. That's all we got out of it. Uh, just, uh, I, I don't know, we don't have a measurement for this one yet, but I would assume that's about five quarts. Do your research, see how much it takes when you drain it, because you cannot drain the whole system. No matter what you do, you still have some left. You, you have uh, in the coolant, okay, uh, in the radiators, transmission cooler, you will have uh, in the transmission lines, in the valve body, things that you cannot drain. So uh, make sure you add the same amount that you drain Check your transmission, cool, uh, transmission fluid level. It's uh, not very complicated to do that. Okay, let me show you where the dipstick is located. Okay, when you open the hood. Okay, right there. That's where the dipstick for the transmission fluid is located. You can see. And uh, on, on the bottom of it, you can see it says up to 20 degrees Celsius and 65, uh, 65 degrees Celsius. Okay, so 
Uh, you need to, if you're in the US, 65 degrees Celsius, you need to do the calculation, but probably uh, just, just eyeballing, it's probably about 150, 160 degrees. Uh, but you need to, you need to check again. Okay, so that will be guys the whole procedure. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Let's grow the channel together and see you next time.